Yo, what is it doing to my boy Alvin, man? Oh crap, he's scared. He's calling out for Dave. Dude. Sounds like he went through a lot of pain. What am I hearing, bro? That boy Alvin needs some milk. What's good everyone, Realistic Gaming here. So today we're gonna be reacting to some scary Alvin and the Chipmunk videos on the internet. So let's begin. And this is Half Speed, a last Chipmunk animation by Aicha. Kinda excited to see some of these Alvin and Chipmunk videos then. Right where you're wondering you can't. Who the heck am I, what is this bruh? Like a Pepsi commercial? I don't drink no Pepsi, bro. Oh, it is Pepsi. What the? See no Alvin and the Chipmunks? Oh, it's a lost and uh, found DVD. It's one of those videos, huh? Chip, monk, punk. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a vinyl record. Now don't play it, bro. It's gonna be cursed. And let all the chipmunk ghost out, man. All the demon chipmunk scores are gonna be released. Heck no, that sounds demonic. I don't know, but whatever, whatever's playing seems like it's haunting Theodore. No, wait, this is Simon, right? Alvin's the red one, Theodore's the green one, and this is Simon, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm probably getting it wrong, you guys probably hate me in the comments right now. But it's been a while. Alright, so what's going on? Like, the music, like... To the Alvin, bro, he's not even showing his face. No face, no case. Look at him, he's all slumped on the chair. I really hope he's not diseased. Okay, there's probably something here uh, I'm missing out on, like on the bigger picture. I don't know what it could be. But y'all let me know in the comments, bro. Where's the Theodore? Oh, heck no, nah, that boy's tweaking, bro. Oh, 
Heck not. Yeah, throw that dude away. Throw him to the trash. He probably got rabies. Oh, Simon's crying. Oh, Simon! Some creepy hands behind you, bro. Holy crap, what just happened? <laughs> it just happened so fast. I don't know what happened. Saw some hands behind him, then some fire. The life of this nation, which still is haunted by its past. Peace was the prevailing theme today as German leaders received messages of congratulations from Presidents Bush, Gorbachev, and others. Peace and a new German army this made AI. up of troops from the east and west. <laughs> the joining of these two armies represents what many said should never happen again. A single German state with a powerful military. Am I in history class right now? What's going on? I have no idea. In our final video, we got the analog horror of Alvin and the Chipmunks, how they broke up. By Sis Dix. Oh, they broke up, bro. When you hear the oh, name Alvin and the Chipmunks, what do you think of? The three stooges, bro. For me, I remember growing up with their movies and seeing their music on TV. However, despite this popularity, the band would actually have a pretty depressing fallout. Which is why today, I'd like to tell you the story of how Alvin and the Chipmunks broke up. I'm about to cry right now, bro. I don't even want to watch this. On October 9th, 2015, a post would be submitted to r slash Alvin and the Chipmunks, which included the following. What happened to Alvin and the Chipmunks? I know the group broke up, but Come are they on, really bro. done Still making music? As the post says, Alvin and the Chipmunks would break up sometime in 2015. However, 2015. many people still aren't aware of what led to the group's split and how it happened, all of which this video is designed to address. But first, some context. Alvin! <laughs> There's the iconic Alvin Alvin's and the dream. Chipmunks were a singing animal trio comprised of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, led by their father, manager ah, Dave, the someone who found the Chipmunks and took them in. While this sounds like a happy story, Alvin and the Chipmunks as a band was actually pretty problematic. Starting with Dave, he had a few issues of his own. Often forcing the Chipmunks into working long hours, Dave was abusive, reckless, and even occasionally threw items at the band when Animal they weren't focusing. Abuse right there. One time Dave was so mad that he threw a beer bottle at Theodore, which broke his ribs and got him hooked on pain What the? As for the group themselves, the pressure of their did careers would lead them down some pretty dark paths. For example, Alvin notoriously became a drug addict, often abusing cocaine and even heroin to get through his shows. I seen that Theodore coming, bro. Theodore follow, routinely abusing Vicodin, leaving Simon as the sober one of the group trying to keep the band together. I can well, see this that happening. Well, bad for the Chipmunks, this darker direction for the group actually allowed them to create their greatest album. The album in the Chipmunks' darkest album, Sludgefest. Sludgefest was an album created by Alvin the Chipmunks that has remained unpopular due to its obscurity among fans. When people think of the Chipmunks, they don't often associate depression and substance abuse with them. However, these were the issues that the band wanted to approach in their newest body of work. At the time of recording, the band was at a place where life seemed hopeless, but the creation of this album would change everything. With themes about drug addiction, death, and loneliness, Sludgefest quickly became the Chipmunks' most successful piece of music. That's crazy, it just wasn't bro. Very popular. How did the fans In not realize, Simon, bro? He described the writing process as miserable. For example, it's said that one time Theodore asked if he could write a song for the album, to which Alvin reportedly responded to by smashing a guitar oh. in his face and telling him to get the fuck out. Yo. In that interview, Simon said, Sometimes the group would show up high, and sometimes they'd show up drunk. God help anyone who got an album's way. Poor Simon, bro. <laughs> While tension was high in the recording sessions, the actual music in Sludgefest translated flawlessly. Critics raved that it's bold direction taken by the band, and it was inevitable they would go on tour, which would actually be the group's final touring ever. Alvin and the Chipmunks' final shows were chaotic at best and pandemonium on average. Aside from the obvious drug problems of the group, fans would be endangered by the trampling mosh pits, various objects being thrown between Washington, the stage and crowd, Alvin and the Chipmunks, and the that's crazy. The band members themselves. One time it said that Alvin threw an amplifier into the crowd because he was tired of hearing the sound oh. of the other chipmunks. Inevitably, the group would reach its final tour dates, and as quickly as their success came, it would fade. One audience member recounts the final show as follows. Never forgot their last show. Alvin covered himself in shit, stage dive, oh, and walked right out the front cool. doors. Simon and Theodore kept playing their sets and invited people on stage. It was chaos that night, but it was magic you don't see anymore. That After was that not show, magic, the group bro. would never tour again. Oh, uh, did just microwave Alvin? The when Alvin, the lead singer of the Chipmunks, would take his own life by locking himself into Bro, a microwave. Bro, he microwaved his- what After the- After this, Alvin and the Chipmunks officially broke up. 
You can still listen to Sludgefest today, and I'll include a link to the album in the description of this video. With that being said, where is the band now? Theodore lives somewhere in the Midwestern United States. After being checked into rehab on a few different occasions, it's, it's no telling what his condition is. Simon appears to be doing well, and continues to release solo work to grieve for the loss of his band and his brother. As for Dave, no one really knows where he is. There's a few theories, but nothing's really been confirmed. With all that like being Dave said, anymore. even though the group officially broke up in 2015, it's still possible to hear new Alvin and the Chipmunks music. However, it's important to know that those people singing aren't the actual Alvin and the Chipmunks, but instead are people having their voices pitched up to resemble the original band. You didn't have to After tell Sludge that, Fest, man. the group never truly made another album. And with that, now you know the story about how Alvin and the Chipmunks broke up. Thank you for watching. Dude, that was insane. I did not expect that, uh... Alvin's death to be like that. that was, that's freaking insane, man. All right, you guys. Well, uh, I'll link the videos down below in the description so you guys can check them out for yourself. Shout out to the creators for the awesome videos. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go listen to some Alvin and the Chickmans now. See you guys later.